It's Fiorentina in today's game against Juventus. Key figure for Juventus in this fixture, I'm sure he's going to be. Well, they'll want to stop the crosses coming in here because he's a great header of the ball. And uh, at times that header beautifully, more often than not. Fiorentina's lineup for you. Let's uh, look at the formation here. And this is just a guide, let's be clear. Certainly four at the back, where do they go from there? Yeah, a little bit unusual with those three midfielders providing the stability behind that lad who will be trying to find pockets of space behind the, the two strikers. The Juventus lineup then. So we think it's going to be 3-5-2, Alan, don't we? Yes, it looks that way. And this formation went out of fashion for a number of years, particularly in England, but a few managers prefer to bring it back now. And you saw a lot of Juventus as they made their way to the final of Europe's elite club competition in 2015. Yeah, and, and great to see them back where they belong, really. One of uh, the great old clubs, and a bit like the Manchester United of Italy. So many fans across that country, and uh, their team doing that reputation justice now. Uh, team worth watching and they might be pushed quite hard here and that will be a throw oh in goes the cross safety first there Well, the referee had a good look at the player who was down at his side. It's a diagonal ball to switch the play here. Here's the cross. Save. A little too eager to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Come nicely here with this passing game. ball back and the side able to dwell on the ball for very long here Shots off. well that could have given them the lead it would have given them the lead but it's still level Sports is the next fixture here for the visitors in Serie A. Well, that is half time, and the score is nil nil here. Good forward play from them. Eye catching football, really. It just got to a stage where they actually took the eye off the ball, literally, and they've lost the ball. And in goes the cross. And that will be delight for the defenders. 
There's no one on the end of the cross. Well, he's been in the game, hasn't he? That's the best we can say for him. Very well, clearly offside. It's an easy decision. Yeah, and it's not as if there was a, a scoring opportunity, really. So you can't explain it away by him being a bit overexcited. Now the shot! Really strong play in the tackle, mate. the ball going forward with that block. Possession changes feet. And the goalkeeper got a touch to that. Fine save. Oh, whistle's gone. Free kick. is out it's going to the Juventus player and it's yellow he's not happy with that is he at all very nearly from the free kick don't think he could have hit that one much better well, that was a nearly moment from the free kick. I reckon he thought he'd scored there because it was... A... Could be a yellow card here for that foul. And that is a foul and a yellow card for the Juventus man. Oh, the ref was left with no choice. And now he's looking for some support. The shot's on! Another opportunity wasted by this team, it's still level in the match. Shots on here. Managed to stop the ball going forward with that block. With this attack. Juventus need to make this substitution now, they feel. It's a foul, it's got to be a free kick. That's going to be a yellow card for this player. He can't have any complaints. Quickly. Well, in a game where it will go down to the wire, that could have really been a turning point, but he's missed the chip. Richardson. Oh, can you believe it? It is a penalty. for a side and I think it's going to earn his tip in here well the fans love this the goalkeeper coming up to the opposing penalty area for the corner there we are, final whistle first weekend of the season a great way to start it they've won and they've really looked the real deal for the first 90 minutes long way to go of course oh an awful long way to go but what a start the players judging off the pitch they'll be hopeful of good things this season